Hey everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another fun how-to for you. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean your cast iron sink for the best results. And this is after me trying all kinds of different things. <laughs> and this is the best way that I have found to clean my sink and make it look like new sparkling clean and gorgeous. I got my farmhouse sink installed about two years ago when I had a full kitchen remodel done and I have been obsessed with it. I love this sink so much. It's light, it's bright, it's beautiful. But the one concern I had when I got my sink was how do I keep it clean? How do I not chip it? So I'm gonna go through all that with you guys today. The main things that you're going to need for this cleaning is Dawn. You're going to need a scrubby. You're also gonna need some gloves. I'm going to do a disposal cleaner with you guys today as well. And this is my favorite one. I'm also, you're also going to need a barkeeper's friend and a rag. You do not want to use barkeeper's friend with a sponge. I have found that it disintegrates it for some reason and it's really strange. <laughs> so don't waste your scrub daddies on the barkeeper's front, but this is my go-to cleaner. I love this one. I have a Kohler sink and when I purchased the sink, it said to use their Kohler cleaner. Now I have used it and it does work, but it's not as effective. So definitely pick yourself up some Barkeeper's Friends. I also wanted to mention, I'm going to show you guys how to get marks out of your quartz countertops too, if you do have quartz countertops, because these can be a little tricky to clean, but I did find something that works great. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Let's get started. So this is the inside of my cast iron enamel sink. I will get in there real close so you guys can see all the nastiness. Um, I have not cleaned my sink in about a week and a half. And so this is a good representation of what it looks like when you do not clean it for that long. Normally I like to clean mine once a week, but I wanted to make sure it was extra grimy for you guys today. <laughs> so I could make it extra clean because it's really satisfying when you clean a cast iron enamel sink and make it shiny and new again. It's so gorgeous. You'll first notice that I have these metal grates in here. I purchased these separately from my sink and I will leave all of my links down below for you guys for all the items that I use, my sink, my grates, my faucet, which is amazing. I will leave all that information down in the description below for you guys. But the first thing that you're going to do is remove these metal grates. And these are dishwasher safe, so don't worry about how grimy they get because they wash up and look like new when, you're, um, when you stick them in the washing machine. So I'm gonna move these first. And now I will get in there real nice and close for you guys so you can see the uh, cleaning that we need to do in here today. So this is the innermost corner of my left side of my sink. And you'll see that these rings do develop with the metal grates that you have installed. They have little rubber feet, but then you get hard water buildup, food buildup, and who knows what else. Um, but it does start to create this ring around it. And I found that, yeah, you can use Dawn to get most of that off, but sometimes it's going to require a stronger cleaner to get it all off. So we're going to tackle this today. We're also gonna attack this grime that's around my sink drain. And there's also a lot of little marks here and there, and I will zoom in on these as well. So there's lots of little black marks. Those will not come off if you use something like Dawn. You will have to use the Barkeeper's Friend to get all that off. All right, so let's go ahead and clean out my garbage disposal first, and I will show you guys how that looks when it's done. So for me, my garbage disposal is on the right-hand side of my sink, on the smaller side and that works out really, really great for me. So what you're gonna do is turn this on, on hot water, full blast, as far as it'll go, for a minute, and then you're going to toss in one of these packs. I like to use the Lemmy Shine Disposal Cleaner. They look like this, and I like to kind of push mine like this a little bit before I toss it in there so that it's extra soft and it expands easier in there. It's really, really easy to use this, but also fun. <laughs> so my water is nice and hot. Um, I think it's been about a minute. So what you're gonna do next is you're going to reduce your water pressure to about a pencil size thickness and drain it off to the side here. What I like to do is I like to turn on my garbage disposal first and clean out whatever's in there. And then I like to drop this straight inside there. Fun. <laughs> and you'll see this side of the sink is bubbling up 
and then when all of the foam goes away, your disposal is clean. Once all of the suds have gone down, I turn off my garbage disposal, and then I spray down the rest of all that grime down into there. So my garbage disposal is nice and clean now. So the next step is to just clean the inside of my sink with a gentle cleanser. You don't wanna use anything too crazy abrasive in here. Don't ever use the scrubby side of your sponge on this because it will ruin your sink. Only use the gentle side. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on first. These are my gloves I got at Target. <laughs> In my favorite color, I will also link these down below for my fellow Aqua fans, but it does come in a pack of two. So you have a lavender, which is really pretty as well. And then you get the Aqua. So let's go ahead and get started. Use hot water. Get this nice and soapy. And then we're going to use our Dawn. Get that nice and sudsy. All right, let's go ahead and tackle some of these stains. So I have my sponge. Let's go ahead and get this one first over here. That one came off pretty well. So did this one. This cleaner it works really, really well. This is a new Dawn cleaner that I found at Publix recently and I couldn't pass by the color. But then I smelled it and it was so yummy that I just had to have it. So <laughs> this is how you clean like this. And sometimes this may be all you need, but I have a lot of the black marks from plates and forks and things like that down in my sink. So I am definitely going to need to use my barkeeper's friend. All right, this side is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna go on to the other side yet. I wanna make sure this one's good to go. So grab your water. Clean all the way around. It's looking pretty good at this point. but not good enough, that's for sure. This is a process, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean inside my sink down in here as well. There's some grimy stuff. There we go, that's a lot better. All right, next, we're going to get the barkeeper's friend. So as you can see, it's already gleaming compared to the way it looked before. And that's not just because it's wet, it's also because all the grime is off of there. But next, we need to tackle those pan marks, silverware marks, tray marks, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get some of the really bad ones. The first thing you're gonna do is grab your barkeeper's friend, looks like this, and I like to just sprinkle it like this all over and then I grab this, my rag. You're going to want to get your rag all wet and then wring it out on this side over here. All right, now let's go ahead and tackle some of these spots. Hopefully you guys can see this okay because I can't tell from here, but there's a really bad spot right there. So I'm just gonna get some of this on my rag real quick like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get that spot right out. Do you see how quickly that came out with the Barkeeper's Friend? That's the one thing I love about this stuff is that you don't have to be abrasive with it, you don't have to be scrubbing crazy hard with it. Um, it's very easy if you have a rag like this to just go around <laughs> and use it everywhere. And it doesn't scratch the surface of this. It keeps it polished and clean looking. So I like to go all the way around the edges of my drain like this. And then I just get all of the marks that I can see. 
Some marks will need a little bit more elbow grease than others, but most of these are really just on the surface. Something important to note, if you have a Kohler symbol or another brand that you guys use, do not take your barkeeper's friend and clean that area. Do not do that. Otherwise you will lose your logo. I did that once and it started to take the logo off and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so don't do that. So that's just one little warning with this stuff, but just keep it easy and simple. So let's do a speed clean real quick. cleaning. In fact, it didn't take that long. Um, I think it probably took me like three minutes to finish cleaning. And uh, before I started using the barkeeper's friend, it actually, it used to take me a good 10 minutes. So um, this stuff really cuts down the time. Now the next thing that they suggest doing um, is to wipe down your sink and then use a microfiber cloth or something similar um, to make it really shine. Now normally I don't do that because I mean, it's a sink and it's just going to keep getting wet. <laughs> so uh, what I do is I just kind of let it air dry and I have to clean up after myself because I am not the neatest person when it comes to um, water. So that part I will clean up. But besides that, all you have to do is put your grates back in and mine look like they're actually about due for another wash. You can hand wash those. It's just not the easiest thing to do, but uh, it looks a heck of a lot better over here. In fact, I think I'm going to clean off the feet on these at least. And I'm just, once again, I'm using the Dawn to do that. <laughs> and usually I just scrub the feet like this until they get so gross that I need to actually throw these into the wash, but they don't look too bad right now. And I run some water over it afterwards. I highly suggest if you do get a cast iron sink like this, cast iron enamel, that you do get grates though because it'll really protect the bottom of your sink from chips and things like that but also um, saves you from having to clean it more than once a week too so there we go now that my sink is all clean <laughs> i'm going to show you guys how to clean off those marks on your counter and big surprise you can use our keeper's friend for the same thing. You just have to be very careful because you don't want to ruin the finish on your countertop. So I'm going to rinse this out and then I will show you guys how easy it is to get marks out on your counter. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is a night and day difference. It's so clean and shiny. No more orange spots, no more marks everywhere. Just extra clean. I love it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see counters next. So now let's talk about counters real quick. So you've placed a pan, silverware, your belt buckle, I don't know. There are things that get stuck on the countertops and rub against them and scrape against them and then they leave these marks that you can't get out. And I've tried all of these to see if they will get the mark out and they do not. So the only thing I've found that actually really works is alcohol, which I don't suggest too often, um, and that is sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The thing that works every single time 100% is the barkeeper's friend. You do have to be very gentle though. So let's go ahead and work on a mark. Okay guys, so I have actually a set of three marks here. I have a shorter one, another short one, and then a little one that kind of dragged and then went all the way this way. 
And these are the types of marks that I'm talking about. Also, getting ash on your counters is really hard to get off, and you can use the same method to get that off. The products that I've used in the past to combat this are Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day, Lysol Kitchen Pro, Fantastic, and Method Daily Granite because I used to have granite and I still have this spray. <laughs> but what we're gonna do today is we are going to get this spot a little bit wet first. As you can see, nothing's happening because these stains are so hard to get off. If you don't use Barkeeper's Friend, then we're gonna take our Barkeeper's Friend and we're gonna sprinkle it just a little bit. We don't need a ton. And yet I got a ton. <laughs> And I'm gonna get a little bit of this out of the way so you guys can see the, the way this works. Looks like I have a few more spots too over here and I can get those as well. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did before is just grab some of that on my washcloth first and then we're going to gently scrub that away. And we do not wanna be harsh with it We do not want to ruin the finish of our nice countertops. There's a spot there too. I mean, we just have some everywhere. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more and do this spot here. And you can see it's just coming right off. Yep, I have a whole bunch everywhere. <laughs> All right, we've got the stain gone. And that's it guys, super easy. I love this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.